trappers, we got to chop it up. We got to talk. I am on a roll. I'm sorry. We're, listen, culture spill. We're about to talk about a video that's titled Jaguar drops evidence on Beyonce's GF. We'll just say that. Let me adjust the speed real quick. Um, shout out to Culture Spill, too. They be having it. I can't lie. Anyway, let's go. Dr. Fairy Lynn Carrington, who put together Beyonce's entire female band, which was Matthew Knowles' idea because he couldn't get Beyonce to stop people. Guess you didn't know your daughter well enough because she just I guess you didn't know your daughter well enough. Hold on real quick. Um, she said, I guess you didn't know your daughter well enough. That's interesting. Hold on. All right. So um, she says that, but check this out. Shout out to um, Nation of Podcation. Getting a pay raise. And it's okay. We don't have premium. All right. Shout out Nation of Podcation. Check this out. Say with an iconic. No stepped in and said, hey, you can't. Legend Bun B talks about how Pimp C was trying to holler at Beyonce and Matthew No stepped in and said, hey, you can't bang my daughter on set. Now, as we all know, Beyonce. On set. Beyonce is from Houston and UGK. She got a chance to meet them. And I know she was pretty enamored with them because this was back before Destiny's Child was a global phenomenon that they were. And Pimp C and UGK and Bun B, they were the superstars back then. So when Beyonce got to meet them, she was kind of enamored with Pimp C. You know, Pimp C was a fly guy. He's always dressed. He had the lingo and the swagger. You know what I'm talking about? Beyonce's dad. I shouldn't have something proven this woman wrong, y'all, all the time. Like, real talk. And it's so bad to where people just believe anything. Because I know you're going to see this video. Forgive me, I'm going to call you back. I know you're probably on lunch. Anyway, let's go. I just wanted y'all to see that real quick. Now we're going to get back to this. Couldn't get Beyonce to stop people. A female band. Doctor. Terry Lynn Carrington who put together Beyonce's entire female band, which was Matthew Knowles' idea because he couldn't get Beyonce to stop people. Guess you didn't know your daughter well enough because she just started f***ing all the girls. Say what now? Guess you didn't know your daughter well enough because she just started f***ing all the girls. Chop, are y'all ready for the bike has had a lot to say? Enough to make her the current number one target of the beehive with all those girl-on-girl -girl allegations. Okay, okay, I know, just like Jag, a lot of y'all have been saying for years that you know how Beyonce rolls, but could the Beyonce era be for real? Let's find out. So first of all, in the interview, Jag was very loud about the allegation that Beyonce is straight up a witch. I don't know nobody when they said that they're bitch. Jag actually talked about that female drummer, Kimberly Thompson, who accused Bay of extreme witchcraft, dark magic, and casting spells on her. Kimberly actually filed a restraining order against Beyonce, saying that Bay was utilizing spells to tap her restraining or they just told her to stay away from Beyonce and work for somebody else. Guess what? She's having a hard time finding work too. Honey, I don't know about any witchcraft, but the next thing Jaguar was saying was that since Beyonce was sleeping with everyone, her father decided to have her work with more women than men. But the shock was on Matthew Knowles because then Beyonce started hooking up with the girls, allegedly. Well, I have to admit that Jaguar saying that Beyonce was messing around with all the women is not really surprising. I mean, there have been rumors that go all the way back. For instance, do y'all remember that rumor or interview where Emile, who collaborated with Beyonce on I Got That, said that Beyonce was in love with her and that she's actually queer? Now, if you go looking for that interview, I forgot. Got about that. You will not find it. But there have always been rumors that Emil saying that Beyonce was in love with her is part of the reason why she no longer has a career. And speaking of interviews that literally. Now, why would Beyonce and Jay-Z have such information, even if they are just rumors about Beyonce, scrapped from the internet? Is it because there's some truth to what was being said about Beyonce actually liking women? Well, other than that story about Emil and Lady Gaga saying that Beyonce likes women while giggling, I swear there were rumors back in the day that Rita Ora allegedly had a threesome with Bay and Jay-Z. Baby, if these instances aren't convincing enough, let me just take y'all down memory lane about some of the other shocking things that have been said about and at the time, Beyonce was really making the most of the burlesque strip show. She was on the table in the VIP balcony cheering loudly as two girls got naked. There were rumors that Beyonce allegedly had too close of a relationship with her female guitar player that she used to feature on tour. Other people say that Beyonce looked a little too comfortable being naked between two other naked women in the Cater to You video. Well, all the females, I'm not sure if she also meant every one. Why were they naked? I'm gonna have to watch that video. Um, 
not for that purpose, but I'm thinking about, I've never seen that video. I'm thinking about Survivor. Wow. Interesting. But considering Jag was saying that Bay was 2003 and 2013, and this is also another performance by Beyonce where she used the same lighting effect. Coincidence? Child, the way we know Beyonce, she always does everything on purpose. And I cared at the project like her uncle Johnny, who was gay and passed away due to complications with HIV for far too long. Seemingly referencing queer icons such as Mwapi Homage. Allegedly, Bay was trying. Bruh, that's why all of those rope bricks be doing that thing where they just be walking crazy. They just like, boo, they just fall out. I swear to God. I don't even know what that shit called. Like they just like they just pass out and they knees and oh yeah. Trying to communicate something, and of course, I will be breaking down where goes to work with her. Speaking of It's the planet Take this time to like the video, y'all. Take this time to like the video. Alright, let's go was performing the song, the clues were too open to ignore. First of all, the song talks about a woman being comfortable in her skin, and it has been used as an anthem for many in the LGBTQ plus community. Then during Bay's skin, and it has been, apparently while Bay was performing the song, the clues were too open to ignore. First of all, the song talks about a woman. This is a very interesting picture. I'm not about to lie. And it makes it hit different when they get to talking about these certain parties. Real talk. Being comfortable in her skin collaborated with Beyonce on we're gonna end it right there listen I forgot about those things I can see her being open-minded I feel like it's gonna be some Meg Beyonce stories yep I really do anyway like the video I'm out peace